Hello? Hey, Donald. Yes. Yeah, this is Chris. You had spoke to my assistant earlier in regards to your house on Mallory Drive. How are you today? Fine. Good, good. Yeah, I just wanted to get back with you to see if there was something we can do there to actually, you know, buy your house and uh, help you out there. Um, did I catch you at a good time? Uh, well, I'm at said clearing brush. <laughs> oh, you're clearing brush? Oh, that's hard work. You better bet it is, and it's warm out here, too. Well, I'm in you, southeast Missouri. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, you, at least you picked the day that wasn't the actual hottest. It's about two degrees cooler today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, is it better for me to call you back a little later? No, that's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't want to interrupt that. Probably need to take a little break anyway, right? I do. All right. So you said you're down in southeast Missouri. Is that where you're going to be moving to? Uh, Yes. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, I was looking over the notes here. Um, let's see here. So you were still planning on doing um, some things with the house. Um, what else well, did you have? Well, I, I had talked to several investors, and their offers were just too low. So I was going to uh, continue to work on the house, and then I was probably going to put it on the market. Oh, okay. What kind of offers were they giving you? Oh, some of them were as low as under 200 and stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's kind of low. And, you know, typically when investors buy it, they want to get it, you know, 50 to 60 cents on a dollar, really cheap. And it doesn't right. sound like that's your house. Your house is a uh, is pretty good shape overall, though, huh? Well, I mean, it, it still needs some work done. Um, it needs some curb appeal. I was going to put a new front door, a new garage door. New front por uh, front porch post. Uh, those are some of the bigger things. And then yeah. uh, one room I'm is gonna have to have the carpet replaced. I was probably gonna put vinyl plank in it. Those are probably the bigger things. Yeah, that's what we did with one we just finished. We had to pull out all the carpet because the lady we bought the house from had three dogs and eight bunny rabbits. So that carpet was trashed. <laughs> So we pulled I it all up. That. <laughs> so we pulled yeah, it all out and really take a toll on a house. Yeah, I never really realized it until I got into real estate. I said, "Wow, they really mess them up overall, you know. Some do." Yeah. So yeah, so um it says here something about you're about to retire, huh? I'm hoping to. Oh, what kind of work were you doing? Uh, I'm in information technology. Primarily oh. database work. Well, that's cool because uh, that stuff's not going anywhere. It's only going to be more high tech next year, right? It seems to be. With uh, the I'd rather just l leave it to the younger people. Yeah, it's, it's getting really competitive now with the AI and the computers doing everything. You don't even have to think anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, when I when I got into this business. I thought, eh, this career is only going to last 10 years. Well, I hate to tell you, I'm I'm about to retire. It didn't I, even, uh, it wasn't even near my prediction. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, we can only live the life, so you're ready to retire and, and, and move out into the country, huh? Well, sort of. I don't know if you uh, ever heard of Lake Wapapello. No, I never heard of that one. It's about ten miles north of Poplar Bluff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been to Poplar Bluff before. Yeah, it's a it's a Corps of Engineers lake, so you can't build right on the lake. Oh, yeah. So you're off the lake. Well, that sounds like a fun place to go. And so, um, I'm thinking, uh, what kind of timeline would you be on if, if you could get this house sold and have it done and get out to the lake house and all of that in a timely manner? I mean, what kind of timeline? Well, I you... mean, this, this is not my primary house. This was a rehab house that I had bought from a good friend and he passed away. And, uh, so I'm not under any tight time constraint, uh, obviously. And, uh, so I'm just, you know, working on it as I have time. And uh, but if a decent offer came along, I would probably take it. I know that's right. And so, in your mind, what do you think a decent offer is? 
Well, I probably wouldn't let it go for anything under 280, 285. 285. Is that what they go for over there, I guess? It depends. Um, my house had a, a uh, I think it's about a 30 by 30 family room added on the first floor. So it's a little bit unique, and it's bigger than most houses around there. Now, some of them have been totally rehabbed, and uh, they've went for that or much more. It it just depends. Uh, you know, the house, the area is one of the best because you're within a mile of the Page Avenue Bridge. And uh, location is ideal. It's still That's right outside the Page Extension, huh? Huh? That's right outside the Page Extension. We're on the St. Charles side, but, yeah, we're only about a mile from the bridge. Miles and oh, okay. miles from the bridge. So people like it for that. Schools are still pretty decent. And uh, it has a lot of pluses. I know that's right. How long has it been vacant for? Well, I've had my mother live in it. I've had my mother in law live in it. I've had people who were in extended uh, stays, uh, kind of relatives and that kind of stuff. So on, it's just been on and off. Oh, Sometimes okay. When we have visitors, we'll just put them in there. They'll there have you their go. Own place. So it I is livable. It just needs updates, basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's there's good. No, there's no structural things. It has brand new roof. Uh, uh, you know, there's it has a lot of pluses going for it. I just wasn't going to give it away. I know that's right. Well, I mean, I know you said you spoke to several investors already and they're giving you these low ball offers and, you know, just trying to, you know, just give you little or nothing. I mean, if, if there was a way we can get you right up around that 280 mark, uh, take the house as is. You won't have to fix another thing if you didn't want to Yeah. and get, and get it wrapped up in a timely manner. Is that something you would consider? Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a way we could do that. Um, so we had a situation similar to this a couple of months ago uh, where somebody uh, had a vacant house that a family member had and uh, they inherited. And so they were trying to do the same thing as you, basically fix it up and, you know, do all this stuff, which they found out it's a lot of hard work and it really doesn't pay off in the end. So what we did in that particular case, we ended up buying the house, took it over as is, uh, and we started making payments to them directly each and every month and took full responsibility of the property. So we actually bought the house just like a traditional transaction. The only thing is we elevated them from being just a homeowner to being the bank where we actually get them a monthly payment, passive cash flow, truly passive, and not have to ever go to that house again. Is that something you and would be you, able to And you bypass the high interest rates. Yes, sir. You know the game. That's what we're doing. You know, that 7 and 8% is not friendly on homeowners or investors. We pay more because, you know, we're yeah. non-owner occupied, so they kind of kill us. So it makes it really hard to buy houses. And we want to get you as much money as possible. And I think that we can structure something in a way that's, you know, beneficial to you and you don't have to do anything else to the house. I mean, is that something you would consider? Well, I would consider it. I mean, I have I mean, I've considered that on some other stuff, but I haven't, uh, I would have to have some pretty strong assurances, uh, you know, um, that I would be legally protected. 100%. So basically the way we structure these deals, um, we do close through the title company, just like any real estate transaction. We actually would buy the house. Um, you would be uh, basically getting a, uh, promissory note and a deed of trust, which is the same paperwork that a bank would get. So everything that a lender, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, you name it, every big bank in America, the same legal protections that they get, as well as we get a brand new insurance policy and name you on there as an additional insured or mortgagee. 
uh, in uh-huh. the event that a tornado hits or a flood or, you know, something's always happening in Missouri, right? We protect right. you in every way to protect the asset just in case fire happens, whatever. You know, we, we don't know what tomorrow holds, but we structure these deals in a way where you're 100% protected in the deal. Yeah, I, I would have to think about that pretty strongly. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean if, I, if if I could, you know, uh, do just a a, clo- a quick close uh, for full cash, you know, I would probably try to do that first. If I didn't get many bites, then I would uh, consider that maybe. Right. And this way I, you get the most amount of money. And remember, there are no real estate commissions, fees, none of that type of stuff, as you know. Right. You're directly, you know, buyer and seller agreeing. Like I said, we draw up everything, goes through the real estate uh, title company. And we do these deals all the time. So it's not something we buy them cash. But as you know, a cash offers, you know, 200000 And I don't want to do that to you. I really hate doing that to people. But some people say, we'll take the cash. But, you know, it's got to be a, a pretty discounted. But no reason to you know, take that money and not put it in your pocket or add it to your um, asset column on your, you know, right. your, your profit loss. And you kind of understand yeah. this because it sounds like you've, uh, you know, you've, you've been around a little bit. So we, we structure it in a safe way so that you're protected and you get a monthly payment each and every month. Typically we put them on auto pay so we don't even think about it. Yeah. Um, what, uh, what kind of payments are these? I mean, are these like, based on a 15 year or are they on a a very accelerated rate um so we've done them as long as 15 years we've done them as short as you know five to seven years uh generally what we do with these houses so we're, we don't do traditional rentals like most investors what we do with these properties is we get them stabilized uh you know update anything that needs to be updated furnish them and then we put in uh what's called corporate rentals so like people with businesses or you know people have a uh, people coming in for training and things like that temporary housing or sometimes we do traveling nurses so say if they have to come to St. Louis for three to six months, we would have a fully furnished operable. Oh, so so place. you're so you're not talking about uh, like a six month or a three to six month fix up and then sell. You're talking about a long term. Uh, yeah, we're talking a more long term play. That's why we can pay more for the house than anybody else. You know, a cash offer is going to be low. A terms offer is going to be right at retail. Sometimes we can go a little more just depending on the situation. Um, so it, it's the most amount of money in your pocket versus paying it to real estate agents, paying it to all these people. You know what I mean? There's a lot of cost associated with selling a property. And, and, sure. it, and the big elephant in the room that most people don't know, when you sell these properties, you get a big tax bill as well, capital gains tax. You avoid all of that when you sell a house on these more creative type yeah. terms. So it kind of well, helps you in a lot of ways more than more than most people Yeah, the, the thing about it is I've got some opportunities down around my new area that I may want to uh, – use some of that cash for so that would be uh that might be a a kind of a a thorn in that side how much how much down payment do you put on them usually uh typically we get into them uh a down payment anywhere from um you know around five percent something like that on average you know, sometimes we, we bought them nothing down, to be honest with you. But, you know, every case is different, but we can definitely get you a down payment if that's something that would help you out. Yeah. Okay. All right. But I just, mean, I just want to let you I'm know that there was an option. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're welcome to uh, any information you have, uh, written information, like proposals and stuff, you can uh, uh, forward it to me at this phone number. Is um, this D- Charter.net. I don't know where they got this other thing from here. Charter.net. So what I'm going to send you is a document that gives you basically uh, how the framework is, some of the most commonly asked questions. You know, a lot of people don't even know that some of this stuff is possible, um, but, you know, it kind of answers a lot of it. And we can just, you know, follow up with you in a few weeks or something and see if, uh, you know, when. Or 
bet, better question, when should I follow up with you uh, to see um, if you if you have any other questions or if you are ready to make a decision? Well, you probably should give me a week or two uh, once you send the information. Um, I, I don't I, – this house is – according to some of the stuff I'm seeing, and I don't know how realistic it is, and I don't know what valuations you you see, but uh, I mean, I've even seen this house appreciate ten percent in the last year, and this is a recent evaluation. One one of them pegged it at three hundred to three hundred fifteen thousand. I find that hard to believe, but uh, are these listed houses or was that sold? Huh. Was that just something listed, or was it actually sold? I think it was based on uh, sales prices, I believe. Yeah, because a lot of times people put it up, say we put it up for three fifty and pray. I mean, we see this happen quite a bit in this business. They put up an off, you know, something on the uh, market with a real estate agent. The agent is telling them, "Oh yeah, we're going to get top dollar." They can't guarantee that. The only people no. that can really guarantee that is the person that's buying it. So if you have right. a buyer in front of you ready to pay that price that you want, which, like I say, we can pay most of the time more than anybody else, definitely more than a low ball cash offer that a investor is going to give you. And this is cash as well. It's just payments over time where you actually make more money. And it's a, you know, a quick, easy way to sell your house without the fluff. We close as soon as the title. Did they once done. call this like a contract for sale or something? So that's something totally different, but this is actual a purchase. We would actually be deeded the property. We would actually buy it. And we take full responsibility of anything that goes with that house. You have no uh, repairs, maintenance, tenants to deal with, none of that stuff. Everything about real estate, all the pain points and problems are washed away when you sell it and you become the bank. All you do is collect checks. Your job, Don, is to do nothing but collect checks every month. That's your yeah. job. <laughs> and so is, uh, I guess that uh, I'm actually, am I actually kind of selling it every month then, a piece of it? No, sir. So you would actually well, be selling it. Well, how do I bypass it. taxes then? Uh, because you're taxed on the money you receive, not the money you're promised. Oh, so okay. when you get a chunk of cash hit your bank account, 300000 Uncle Sam's going to try to take a hundred grand of that just because, you know. They love you so much, Don. So we try to kind of prevent that, and more of the money goes in your pocket versus paying a tax bill. Yeah. So that's the reason why it is, does it. Is there a big market uh, for these, uh, like, corporate rentals and stuff? I'm sorry. What was that again? Is there a big market for these corporate-type rentals? And like um, in St. Stuff. Louis, it is. It's it's an okay market, but you got to have some systems in place. We already have all the management set up, all the systems in place, all of the things that are necessary for, you know, the upkeep because it is management. You know, there's work. It's not free or anything, but we take all of that in cons into consideration when we structure these deals. So it's it's not something I would tell somebody just to jump into because there's a lot of nuances and we have relationships already with different corporations, um, the traveling nurses, things like that. We have relationships with people already. So yeah. we've already done yeah. all the heavy lifting. We already have people waiting on property. As soon as we get them, they're ready to move in. As soon as we get them fixed up, stabilized, which we can do that in two or three weeks, we'll have somebody in this house by August 1st. That's how fast we move. So we don't play yeah. around because, you know, just having a house sitting empty, nobody's making money on it. Right. But whenever we're all, you know, we can get it up and stabilize, cash flowing, getting you paid. We're getting a little bit, you know, and everybody's basically getting something for it versus having an empty house sitting for month after month. You know, that's right. a big deal. Yeah. So, so it just kind okay. of solves the problem all the way around. And that's just one of the strategies that we use. Okay. All right. Well, I need to get back to work for it rains. Yeah, I'm gonna let you get back, Don. I'm gonna send you that email, um, and then we'll we'll correspond from there. Uh, like I said, my name is Chris with St. Louis Cash Buyers. Any other questions for me for now before I let you go? No. All right, Don. Don't work too hard. Make sure you're drinking plenty All of right. water out there. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye.